Yo, 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 what's going on? Y'all ready for this? Yo, hey, hi, what up? It's me. Your friendly neighborhood sidewalk hero. Actually, kind of fits. I should start using that more often. Um. Yeah. Gonna do, uh, I mean, it's gonna be a shorter stream than normal. Gonna do some dailies, hang out, play video games. Yeah, basically that. I think I, I should have like a couple days of dailies worth of, or left over. I think. Yeah, because I haven't been on at all today, and I had an extra one yesterday that I didn't do. So, I'll be playing whatever chaos uh, those dailies are in. I'm trying to roll for them. And if it goes really fast, I don't know, just do some C5s or something. Help you get those APHH. I don't know, dude. Like, not like I can do anything about it. No, I only have the three wins. Uh, that's right. I played, like, actually quite a bit yesterday afternoon. Maybe spin. The kinks out. I guess I'll just do some C5? I don't know. Let's see. Take off that. Let's play with, um... Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Do some more, uh... Gun witch... or not gun witch. Not just stuff, because I can. Want some maps now? The hangout. All oh, that jazz, you know. Be cool. And keep it chill. I am stupid tired. I have no idea why. Yo, Coco Vert, what up? Yo, Dark Pulse. Uh, actually, you know what? Thinking about it, I might be tired because I didn't sleep much and then I did a seven hour stream in the afternoon. That probably is a big part of that. Oh, you know what? I got, um. I got Defense Rate, like, yesterday or the day before. I haven't actually done C5 cannonballs yet with the uh, orb and defense rate on it. So I should do that. Perfect. Uh, to 1.30 or 9.30 p.m. So it's not a, um, my orb isn't like a max stat orb or anything, but we'll see how it goes. How do I walk so fast? I got move speed, and like I got speed boost on my boots, and I think I went full move speed in Ascension. I like to go fast. Alright. I'm gonna leave that on there now. Yeah! That's right. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What is on the cannonballs right now? Yeah, some cannonballs don't have health on them anymore, which kinda sucks. I don't think I have a good orb with health as a secondary. Uh, let's go to orbs. Yeah, nothing's particularly decent in there. How to use your ascension points? What do you mean? I'll do what I can to help, but I'm not quite sure, like, how to put them in, or, like, where to put them. Where to put them, okay. 
I mean, it really does depend. If you're only at essential level 8, then you really don't have to worry that much about it. It's not overly important at that tier. But it depends on like what you really want to focus on, right? Like, if you got a monk and you want strong sky guides, you're not going to go into boost aura health and obvious things like that. But if you want them to be mostly DPS, right? Maybe you don't want to go power crit stuff right away. But it depends on what you're building. Like, it's not a black and white, hey, you should always go this ascension or that ascension. It really depends on what you want that hero to be, like, more focused around. In general, the 20 pointers are better than the 999 points. Especially if you're doing like a multi purpose. Uh, so, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do scummy builds because I'm a scummy guy who does scummy things. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, I had more characters before. Trials came out, right? But like, each of my characters is focused on one defense. Yep. Except for my wallers. My wallers are also DPS heroes. Just because... Oh, just because. Um... Sand traps and cannonballs. I'll just do what I always do. Usually I have these like close to walls and I don't care, but now that I don't have health on them, I'm a little worried doing what I do. That's basically where I need them to go. Doing the same thing, just off to the side. Oh, I really want that fence all set on him. Are there special eggs we can buy with metals worth buying? Yeah, probably not. I mean, like, Automew has a good ability. Uh, I can't remember the rest. Automew is good. I don't really know about the others. But, like... Are they worth it? Probably not. Oh wait, with metals, sorry. Uh, I thought you said gems with metals. Um, Lich is good. The rest are kind of whatever, as far as I can remember. Lich is pretty good. But like, I wouldn't really worry about it too, too much. I don't use Lich at all on my DPS heroes anymore. Do pets matter? Sure, the abilities are good. Um, The stats... Are good at first, the further into chaos you get, the less important they are. But they help a little bit, especially early on if you can get them at like 60 to 60 levels. They don't really like not having health on these things, it's making me all nervous and stuff. I'm just gonna put the thing up there. Uh. Pet lives matter. That should be fine. And this. You can't do Chaos 1 the easy map. Easiest map and it makes you mad. Well, it's supposed to be a challenge. You'll get there. It just takes time.
What am I what have I not done yet? Oh. This lane over here. Yeah. So that's probably fine in that. I don't uh, I don't wanna put it there. There's not really anywhere else I wanted to go. That'll probably work. I'm boned at all. Like, I'm 100% boned if something goes bad. Like, these are all clumped together down there as well. They have no HP. I hate that. Yeah, let me check the ascension on... Okay, you're good. You're just DPS, you as well. I think I forgot to do the sky guards. Sky guards ascension, that is. Ugh, and drop that there. Alright, where are you, monk? Get out here. Yeah, you got a lot of points. So, you're gonna be trap. Oh, I'll leave him in there, that's fine. 17k? What are you wearing that's lacking? Nothing? Nothing's like terrible, terrible. Just not a very high stat. Wow. That's not fair. This guy has like 3k bonus plus whatever the bulwark gives too. Alright, it's actually not that far behind. I'm basic I'm like I'm convinced now that. Your armor stat is what makes uh, drops. I still haven't reskinned the Huntress. Cobalt's coming in. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do the Scott Garrus for now. All right, so we got an orb with defense raid and the two stuns on the cannonballs now. Let's see how that does. The DPS actually, like on a dummy, wasn't that much worse than in the setup before. Also, this is probably going to be like a framey piece of crap for a bit. I apologize for that. The computer was on all day playing uh, Mass Effect and I haven't restarted it. go. So this should be... yeah. <laughs> oh, they're hitting the other guy. Die for me. There we go. 990. I wish I had 20 or like 10 more. Oh, I've got that stupid bug where like you jump and then Honestly, Cocover, like, I could not tell you. I have no idea, man. It's been so long. And you know what? I mean, the game's changed so much, like, in the intro stuff, too, that I don't know what you should or shouldn't be doing. I don't know what you should be doing in Chaos 4, let alone, like, a fresh 50. You shouldn't so much just worry as, like, what you're doing, what you're not doing, just do the best you can do, really. And really, like, even if you said is, you know, 50k damage per hit and Chaos 5 good, I couldn't tell you, because it all depends on attack speed and stuff too. AoE versus single target, there's a lot of different factors in it. 
Yo, Pancakes, what's going on? That's more or less fine. Okay, no, no more of that bug. The milk and cookies? Gimme. Does anyone know if on the bug site, the bug where like, when you're the hunch- I don't know if it's just the hunters, but I've, I've been finding out the hunters. You jump and then like your direction keys don't move you. Like here, I jump and then I move over. And I think it has to do with assassins. We'll see, we'll see. Cause like it, it seems to happen quite often. I should check the bug site. And if not, like report it. Cause it's terrible, holy frig. Get out of here. Okay, I can still do it. Can it? No, oh, dude. Oh god, it's so annoying. You put medallion or totem or orbs on the air defense. Uh, Skyguard? I think medallion is the best medallion with um, health and speed. They don't really get... Well, I mean, it really depends. Whatever you got that's giving them the best DPS really, right? Still getting it. I mean, here's the thing, pancakes. They're they're both bad. The jump thing has solutions though, but it's almost as annoying as the uh, silence bug from the assassins. Like, I don't know, like hero bugs like that that like stop you from being able to do like even the simplest things that you should be able to do horrible it's a different kind of like frustration but yeah I mean like the flamethrower one really sucks as well I'm not denying that either because <laughs> you don't want your defenses that are protecting your stuff to stop firing too I mean, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna go through and upgrade them. Do you have a totem on your walls? Have you put... Have you found a fortification shard, maxed it out, and put it on that wall as well? I didn't share my fr You didn't want those fries. Holy shit, dude. I was drowning in salt. It was the worst. I wish I hadn't eaten them. I wish I hadn't eaten them. Just horrible. Pokemon, I could not, like I said, I can't tell you if that's good or not, right? <laughs> if your stuff's getting one shot, then it's probably not healthy enough for what you're doing. That's all I can say, as a general rule of thumb. Now, I'm saying that if you mean literally getting one shot. If you're exaggerating, then I can't really comment. But if, like, a freaking goblin's walking up to your wall and killing in one shot, for example, that's not enough. If a orc is walking up to your wall and hitting it with one slab, that's not enough. If you're just saying they go down fast, put some crowd control into your builds and kill things further away from your walls. 
When you go and see, didn't you say you can't even do C1 yet? Maybe you should uh, take your time, dude. You shouldn't be doing C2 with the 170k walls, probably. There's a certain progression that needs to be followed. You can't just skip content. More so, like with this trials patch, than ever. Am I hitting for less? I feel like I am. Did I change something in my loadout? It feels like it. Die. Kokovert, if you're not wearing Chaos 3 gear, you're getting shit from Chaos 4. Right? Like, if you say you can't do Chaos 1, then you definitely don't have Chaos 3 gear. It did 4 million damage on the, um, on the sticky nades or whatever, not the nades, the sticky nades, like a of shot. What's my loadout right now? First off, let me put some ascension into this. HP. Um... That's right, I never had... wait, concussive shot, concussive power. 40. Well, that should be good. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, get off me. Thank you. Oh, where's my button? I should test this out on a dummy. It does feel a lot less. Well, I'll count on a big enemy. It should be, like, at least 3 mil. Is there a shot that will make Sky Guards better? Destruction. Range. Vamp power. Fortification. Um, even Critch stuff isn't the worst if you don't have anything else. Rate. Oh, I can't test on a fucking siege roller now, can I? What? Okay, Cocover. Like, there's. You seem to have a very big misunderstanding of how this game works. Like, our bow can look exactly the same. It is nowhere close to the same bow. I got this bow from a higher tier of the game. It has higher stats. Does a lot more, right? But that's because I got it at this tier and I play at this tier. The tier you're at, the bow is going to be of a lesser quality. just Or of the, the respective quality of where you got it. Like... That's what I keep saying, dude. Like, I can't tell you what you should and should not be doing at that, like, that stage of the game you're in. Because everything you do there, everything that drops all the enemies, your health, everything that's going on, it's all completely different numbers. Right? So if you keep saying, like, how much damage you should do or how much damage you're doing, you keep comparing like that, you're never going to find a satisfying answer to it. Yeah, that's only doing like 2 mil also. That's half as much as it should be doing. All 
or have as much as doing on the dummy. So maybe, I mean, there's a chance like the dummy wasn't really representative of what I should have been doing. Medallion with HP and speed, then put a vamp shard with destruction and fortification. That's probably what I'm doing on my uh, sky guards too. Yep, exactly that. Don't need to apologize, dude. It's just like I'm trying to make it clear to you. You know, there's like levels to your gear and it's not exactly stated but if you're playing in chaos one the gear that drops in chaos one is going to have stats related to chaos one and they're going to be very much different from chaos two and chaos three and chaos four uh i mean the dummies themselves aren't bugged i'll have to test ability specific but like well, there's, there's weird things that go on in the game. Yes and no. That means they're bugged in some ways, not in the others. I'm not necessarily believing that the concussive shot does more damage to a dummy than it does to a boss. Ma mainly because when I was using it the other day, it felt like I was doing 4 million damage to bosses. Like I was taking out half their HP and stuff. But that was all feel. So, I'll have to check. I could have also changed something up in my loadout that I didn't remember that I did. Oh, was I upgrading? Oh, yeah, Skyguards, because why not? Look at a tower, hit Inspect, or look at a tower, press E. Out on the right side it says Attack Range. I don't know, I wonder why. I don't... Oh, you mean like this? Like the blue lines here? Hold down shift if that's what you mean. If you want to see the exact number, press E when you look at a defense. Hold down shift to see like the range AOE shit for your defenses. Yeah. I'm stuck in them. Jeez. Game, please. Did I take off like crit chance or something from my gloves? My like my damage to the um assassins feels about the same. It's just like to bosses. That, yeah, that was only like 2 mil. It's not the end of the world, like, it's on a freaking like, 2 second cooldown. Because of my, uh, all my cooldown reduction stuff, but... It just doesn't match. Wow, there's still freaking assassins coming. Jeez, get off me. No rockets. Oh. Please die for me. Oh, that was too far, I think. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did a last stream. 
I can't remember when, but I did it. I remembered. I remember. Yo. Give me some of them shards. Ooh. Interesting. Those seem alright. I don't think it was long that, like, after you would have left too. Forge, Snakes, and Colossal Fisher. I don't know if I have that yet. The other two. I have a lot of, and I gotta make sure I'm conserving space, because I am almost out. Like, I need to... Yeah, I have, like, half a page left of inventory available. Not including my auto loot. Okay, I'm gonna head back to Tavern and see if it's any different. I mean, if I'm getting 4 mil on the dummies, then nothing's changed. I just... perceive things wrong, I guess? I don't think there's any, like... Even, like ninja hotfixes or anything going on, but I guess I can do back-end stuff. Maybe they watched my stream the other day and saw me, like, two-shot a freaking Malthus on C5. So that's that's probably a bit too much. Then they did, like, a ninja background change. Nope, four mil. Okay. So... wonder what's doing that. Maybe it's the mechanic of... No, that's never. I was gonna say like maybe it's like an AOE thing and hitting a couple of things and they proc explosions and stuff. But if I'm doing it on a one by itself, it's definitely not the case. Oh. That's so good. So yeah, maybe I'm missing. Maybe it's just it's never as good as it seems. Wait, how much? You gain 20 health. How many defense power on each of these? You gain 30? So if you're not using any of the other things, it's probably better to do that. They go for like the abilities. I'm using two. How to build your gun witch? Uh, I mean, it really does depend on how you want to use her. And I haven't played with her for quite a while, seriously at least, but focusing Ice Needle seems like it's a pretty decent uh, option. There's two, yeah, there's two shards that increase it by 40% damage, as long as you're okay with single target damage. You can stack AP and ability power and make it good. You don't even need, like, you know, with the new patch, Bulwark, Worm Scarf working, you could get a little bit of crit in there as well. It's, um, it's a great single target. Um, I also like going Book Drop because it's a pretty good uh, crowd control ability. Other options like the number one and the number two both penetrate through Geo Shields. They're not bad options either. And I don't know what's better DPS on a roller, like focusing Ice Needle or Two at Twice Surprise, but Two at Twice Surprise will really tear through a boss if you let it go, I believe, even in this patch. I mean, I think the big thing is just, you know, really focusing in on something. But I, I haven't played her too, too much. Let's keep going. Play some maps. So, the build didn't feel weaker. I mean, it's hard to say it was one run. But cannonballs with the orb and defense rate on them, and the two stuns didn't feel weaker in terms of a build. And it did seem like, you know, the. I mean, even without, like, really feeling it, I know there's more crowd control going on with it, so... The slight DPS loss didn't seem significant enough for me to not want to do what I'm doing now, I think. I'm gonna stick with these, uh, cannonballs. 
Try it a few times. This is the dream. It's the cannonball dream. I just rather get it uh, all on the orb. Is Arcane Volley build good? I heard it's pretty good. You can get a shard that like increases your volley numbers by a lot. Like are your mark targets by a lot. And like if you get some sort of like fast firing weapon to combine with that, you can probably mark like a ton of targets. Get like three or four volleys off before you have to mark them again. I think that could be really cool. Thing is I think they get blocked by uh geodes. So maybe it's not great for lower chaoses. I'm not I'm not positive on that. I I've talked to people about it, I don't have myself to check it out. I can't really remember what was going on with it. But I think it could be pretty good. Yeah, terrain can block it, sure. Luckily it's got like a high path travel to it. So that should be fine. I know a lot of people do like two walls here. That's more ballsy than I'm willing to be, I think. Alright, later pancakes. Thanks for hanging out. Actually, I should try doing down here. A lot of people, I think, are building here instead. I'll give it a shot. I'm not convinced, though. Seems a little short. If I, like, bring the walls back weirdly. How is the curling? We won, actually. Uh, we kicked the snot out of those kids. Nah. But, I mean, we play against, like... We did play a team of teenagers there. Who are actually pretty good. They smoked us the last time we played. So we got our payback. Like that. Rats. Get off my lawn, all that stuff. Try that out. Yeah, I think I definitely need to find an orb with health and speed, or health and speed, health and power. This one here and eh, here. Throw it around here. All right, so you are the important one. Then these guys. It's also not like directly in line with the walls. They should be okay. Should move them back though. Don't get hit by like Sakellians and ogres. Don't be in line with the wall, so Javelin Tossers hit them. Javelin Tosser sees a wall. Does it that way. Yo, Phantom God, thanks for the follow. Have I done all I need to do? No, mid lane needs a bit more. All the other lanes have the minimum. Let's do it up here. Get 
spread. Yo, wrecked. Thanks to the host. You, you'd think like this would be strong enough to hold its own, right? At least for a bit. The early lanes or early waves. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit excessive. So is there anything I forgot? I only need the one sky guard there for now. So I'm gonna watch this lane. I want to see how it does. Yeah, it's short. I need to make sure like books aren't just sitting in the gate. I don't even know if they're gonna spawn here. I guess this time. Okay, good. Javelin Tosser is attacking it from the side. Not at all going for the cannonballs. Also, there was no pop up for the host. That's weird. It's like I just got um the host or the uh, follow pop up, so stream that should be working. Oh, I am bugged. Speaking of bugs, so are the ghosts. Not ghosts, uh, assassins. Oh <laughs> no! You gotta stop walking like right up to the walls, I get stuck there. Like inside the assassin. My shot like just starts past them because I'm right in the middle. Okay, so for this, sand traps and honestly, probably just more cannonballs. Get some backwards facing ones, I guess. That didn't take any damage, this one took a bunch. It's not really surprising. It's just gonna happen. So what do we got? We got a roller right off the bat. Okay. That kind of sucks. But doing something like this sh should have it be okay. We'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if those go down, honestly. Like to the Cobalt lane. It really depends on how their aggro works. I could do a Sky Guard up here. I just don't know if I feel safe enough doing like one Sky Guard for each side. I, I I need to try it. I need to know. They're so much stronger than when I last tried something like this. They just stick out in there where they're coming in. Where this case in there are like hopefully like kobolds will land on the terrain or something maybe on the way in if it doesn't work out. But that should be fine I think. No, actually let's do this. I know you can put up there. Um, I just don't care. <laughs> I think this should be strong enough for the flyer. Like for the regular flyers, definitely. For the kobolds, I don't know. On a heavy one, I should have put my rage shard on that. That's where my second one's gonna go for sure. You all knew it up, dude. How you doing, man? Good loots today. Hey, what's my ADU looking like? It's looking like another sand trap. And because this is a far lane, I am going to do two cannonballs up here. 
I don't have range. Did I say range? I meant to say rate. If I did say range. How do you go from C5 to C4? I mean... You know. It's hard to find a group of builder for C5. I mean, I would do it solo. Honestly. The um, scaling of the assassins, I think, for fresh C4 to C5 is probably pretty tough. Um, I would do it solo, personally. I would HP stack. I would... Try to get a pet with Sparkle Party, honestly. Find a cat pet with Sparkle Party for your DPS. Um, and put some hard CC into your builds. What, what about your Discord tweet? Oh, I don't know, dude. I don't... Like, I was, um... Pretty into what I was doing all day. <laughs> the, um, Mass Effect stream was like, what? Seven and a half hours today long? I wasn't really paying attention to too much. Take out one of those. Time to throw walls. Get your armor and all that for C5. But, like, you got your, you got your building stuff. They're C4-ish. I mean, you know, everyone who, who goes into C5 starts with C4 builders, right? I don't know, I mean, my transition was a little rough. I lost a lot, you know, struggled to get the chaos or the to wave twos and threes and try to get like even blue medallions and stuff from bosses just to get like small increases in strength. No. Powering up Ascension was a help and I mean, going in with just any way to deal with assassins so I wouldn't have to be struggling and dying, which I did still a lot. But if you can find a way to, like, kind of keep them off you. Running around repairing walls, doing stuff like that. It's probably pretty important. It's definitely pretty important. Why is that in there? Alright, later wrecked. So, you out. Your... A trap, and you're out. This is my build. Your defenses are too weak to clear the last round for C4. I mean, so then what you need to do is gear up in C4, right? I don't know why I upgraded that lane. That's the strong lane, or the easy lane. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, make sure you're beating C4 before you try C5. I mean, you get upgrades, um, so, I don't know, Omni, you can correct me if I'm wrong, if there's any kind of revelation today that I missed. But, like, if you're trying to get upgrades, I don't know, Ahuz, you might already know all this, but the one hero in your deck during DPS, or uh, during combat phases, your highest gear you have, drops are going to be related to your DPS gear. Um... What it seems like is you want to have as high of an armor stat as possible. So try to just really increase your armor stat with, you know, as high a drop as you can get with upgrades and wear bulwark. Like, you're probably not going to be finding much in C5 if you don't have the top C4 stuff, right? It's kind of how it works. Or seems to work, at least. No, I'm not upgrading it. I've got to be brave. So, I mean, if you're getting C5 stuff with that armor, then you should be able to get upgrades from C4 as well. Like, upgrades to your relics and stuff by doing it.
I mean, Mortar, are you doing that one hero in your deck that has all the good stuff during combat? Nothing else empty. Don't leave any weak points in your uh, gear setup. Yeah, that worked out well, but that one's the upgraded one. Here's the moment of truth. Oh. <laughs> So, here's what I understand. The drops on the map are based on the like armor stats of your deck. So, the higher your average armor in your deck during combat phase, the higher your drops are going to be. And if you're not getting upgrades, put on Bulwark. If you're still not getting upgrades, then you're doing something else wrong. And at that point, I really don't know what to say, because I don't understand the system well enough. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm not positive on the Bulwark thing, but, you know, Juice was doing, like, three days of 18-hour farm sessions and getting shit all. The moment he puts on a Bulwark, he starts getting, like, legendaries in every, two, every second map kind of thing. Like, it was such a drastic change that it's hard to ignore at that point. Um, and he was, like, in max gear, like... Max Legendaries from C5 gear. He was just missing the Bulwark. What it says to me, though, is that drops are based on your armor stat. Bulwark increases your armor stat. Use a pet to reroll armor. Yeah, put armor on your pet. That can help as well, for sure. I don't think it's necessary, though, but any little bit helps if you don't got it, right? From what I understand, this could be completely wrong. Like, It's still fresh. It's even at this point, it is still um, anecdotal evidence. But it seems likely that it is your armor stat. Now there's probably other factors, like... I think people are saying Gunwish doesn't get relic drops, like... So there's still parts of the system that aren't fully understood. You know, we can say, yeah, don't play Gunwish if you want relic drops. But why? Why is the armor stat what makes the drops work? Why is Bulwark important to that? How does it calculate things? I don't know. Items from the shop? I think items stop being good from the shop like pretty early on, right? Honestly, I got to C5 before I even looked at the vendors, and by that point, they were bad. Um, Pre-trials, the shop never gave you upgrades for like, or never gave you Nightmare 4 stuff. I'm guessing it's the same. It's not going to give you Chaos 5 stuff. I think it's more of like, uh, they want you to earn the gear, not just buy it from mindless farming. Same reason why they don't have like Chaos 5 Terraria weapons, because the old system could just buy you into power. I think it's a good way to pad, like it sounds like it's a good way to fill gaps in loot that you might not be able to pick up from maps just from RNG early on. It's like, man, I'm able to grab all these great things in the maps, but for some reason these past two maps I can't get the boots. And you can buy boots. Ooh, a scavenged purple. That's worth, like, checking out. Die for me, thank you. Okay, we got some sort of skelly. I want to check this out. 
No, he doesn't have enough. <laughs> He's already dead. Damn it! I wanted to see how much damage this was gonna do. But I don't, I don't know. I don't really understand the shop before I even cared about it. But by the time I actually cared about looking at it, I was like Nightmare Four. I mean, it's not like I didn't look at it in my progression early on, but I don't remember when it was useful, if it was useful ever. Is he gonna die on his own? That was kind of the point of what I did. He needs to go a little further forward, but you should. You're like, just an inch forward, buddy. Oh, here we go. Now they're starting to hit. Can I hide here? A little slower than I'd like. Let's lob a few shots over there. Jake Beggars, thanks to the auto host, dude. Right, how are you doing? Decent, but it's like it's a little close for comfort. Okay, Roller and Tuscar. Tuscar should be fine. Mid lane's still holding up okay. That's good. No, I guess I did DPS there for it. Never mind. It's like, man, mid lane's doing great. It's rocking. Of course it is. Hmm. This lane's still good too. Probably have a decent number, right? 12, 8, maybe not. Everything is poison dart towers. Ugh. 128. I'm almost at the point, like, I'm very close to just never wanting to use them again. But, like, I'm just. I want to secure a bit more, like, gear safely in farm sessions than I'm doing right now. Like, I don't... I don't have enough max relics that I want to really do that yet. So I don't think I have a build that, like, I feel confident is going to win every time past this. Well, that's not true. There's been a lot... That's not true. Not... There's the one that doesn't involve cheese, I guess. That's the difference. Ah, uh, fuck, where's the geode? Gonna have to hope we're fine. Yeah, there's plenty of cheese I can do without PDTs. That's insane, like they're not going anywhere. Not all of them? I want to help this guy out and then go down and try to see how much damage I do to Tuscar. I don't want to, like, spend my whole time on him. Yeah, like, if I want to go, I gotta go, like, now. Oh my god, the bug. That fucking bug. And Tuscar's gone too far. Shit. Please die for me. <laughs> Not me.
Alright. Where did I lose the cannonball? This one will be fine on its own. This has a roller again. Honestly, it'll be fine on its own. I didn't do that much damage to the roller myself. Yeah. For safety, let's do that guy once. Uh, not the top. Here? No. Oh, it was the top, it was the top. It's odd. We got a Malthus up top. That's where I should stay then. Even those two rollers on the map. Ooh. The Malthus is like the perfect enemy to do it. He'll linger. Damn it. Do I feel confident enough in the other lanes to leave him while Malthus comes up out here? Maybe? It's a big maybe. I know that lane's pretty good with a roller. Let's buff up the bottom one and I'm gonna stay top, I think. Or at least... Maybe not stay, but go there halfway through. Alright, Geode's here, then I'm gonna go to the center and the north. There we go. Split Viper is good? Oh, they're not bad. Um, I think there's a lot better options though. Split Vipers are actually pretty good in a time where uh, Geos were in C5 because they went through the shields. But now that like there's other projectiles going, it's eh. For C3, I think they're okay. I don't know. It's hard to say, like, maybe my Split Vipers were good only because I had max stat stuff and high ascension. But they'll go through your Geo shields. Oh, there's Malthus. Alright, I'm going. No! <laughs> it's too far out. <sighs> ah. Actually, you know what? That's a good question. I haven't tried rate yet on Split Vipers. Like, I haven't had a rate shard until now. What I was doing was I went a medallion with a speed and crit. And I put destruction, crit strikes, and power transfer on it. And they seemed like they were doing alright. I never tried Raid. Okay, you know what I want to try? Split Vipers now, I think. Well, you don't know. I think I want to do, like, Medallion with Health and Speed. Destruction and Raid, and just see how it stacks up. Or just any of those with Raid. Like, I, I should try either combination with Raid. Really? I think this thing is getting pretty close to stun locked. It's not getting much of a chance to attack. Yo, Juice, thanks for those, dude. The auto host. I might, I might go play with them now, actually, in the tavern. I want to check it out. I don't have a max drop uh, medallion, though, so it's kind of hard to compare. So I'll have to find, like, well, I don't have a max drop health medallion. But if I can find a crit medallion of the same tier, I can get basically the same uh, readings.
No, oh, wait, I had. I want to open it. I do want to open it. This much charge you got? Vamp? Maybe. I'm with Aston. Maybe it's Vamp. I'm going to go with Vamp. Bulwark. <sighs> Betsy's Curse. Scalable Bind. Oh, that was bugged, so I'm not going to do it. Keep that, though. Yo, Amazing, what up? How you doing? Let's tavern it up. Let's check this out. So what am I doing on Split Vipers now? I'm doing Split Viper with... Oh, probably not Power Transfer. It's probably just Crit and Destruction. So if that's the case, I should try that one with Rate. And see how that looks? It's, I mean, it, I'd imagine it'd be a lot better. You hit 4-3. I mean, it's not like it's a good shard anyways. Haha, <laughs> got him. No, that sucks, dude. A lot of playing. How am I doing? You haven't seen me for- I'm doing okay. I'm tired as balls, though. Probably only gonna, gonna go for another hour. <laughs> Yo, let's do it up. Alright, so let's see. Bring you out. That's a decent drop. Uh, that's not, that's not. You dropped something earlier, right? That's bad. That's also bad. Okay. So relics. And I gotta find my cannonball squire, take the things off. Alright, so with you. Let's go just raid destruction. Crit strikes. No, red destruction is split. That's right. It has to be split. I think destruction is just the best one to do. Defense rate's on C3. Thirty percent of the primary is better than sixty percent of a the secondary, right? Wait, I, I need to count this. What, what's better? I mean, I think Destruction is better than Vamp. It helps your secondary, right? I can math this. 11, 5, 2, 6 times 0. 4. So 39, 18. I mean, I, yeah, I can already tell. Times 0. 0.6. Yeah, okay, quite a bit more. Uh, Split Viper? I think power is more. I think power is better. They seem to scale pretty evenly, and if crit is going to be the same as power, always go with power. I'm, I think they scale pretty close to evenly. Uh, I do want to put Split Vipers on, because I don't want to see the ramp up DPS. It wasn't that long ago I used it, right? Yeah, actually, it wasn't that long ago I used it, so... Also, I need to count how many fucking power chances I have. I've gotten so many of them. There's three just sitting in my inventory right now. At least. Split fibers, there we go. So, 0.44. Without rate, what is it? 0.59. It's okay. It's okay. So 
So I mean, okay, so if this is my loadout, like I'm not going vamp or anything. Okay, I guess what's important to check now is not health secondary, but what other shards then raid. Like, I'm medallion with health and speed, going vamp, destruction and split vipers. Is that better than rate with crit on the secondary? Is there some guide where to place each defense on each map? Um, not. There's um DD2 Planner, and I think you just Google DD2 Planner was an old site where people did that. I don't know if people are doing that in trials yet. Probably are. I think that's what it's called. Um, so do I have this but on this scale? I want to go to relics. Speed and crit with the primary at 10174. It's unlikely, right? Let's go through my list and just check on medallions. This is I just wanna figure this out. Really? That's why I put one of those? I have to remember that. You're another health one, right? Yeah. You're a max one. Yeah, that's all three maxes. I don't think I have one of that tier. Oh wait. No, that's I still have such a shitty medallion on my oil geysers. Gah, I'm so sorry. Yo okay, what's going on, dude? That wouldn't be speed, no. Nah. Luigi. Yo. Going alright. A little tired, how you doing? Damn, how am I gonna do this test? Do I have anything like Two of a lower one? It's unlikely, right? Seventy-eight, ninety-six crit and speed. Fuck. I don't know if I'll be able to test this. I mean, I might be able to do it with just like a mark or something, but no, I kind of like. I don't want to rely on something crit related to figure it out. I don't know. I guess it's not that important. Because this is better than the alternative, which would be strikes, I think. Strikes would be better. Yeah, chance over damage. Good chance over crit damage, always. That was like 88k. Let's make sure the pet's not on it. Like, give this a sec. To... Oh, well, I mean, I mean, like, give it a sec to even out. It's already like 8k, 10k lower. I'm trying to find a way to grind C4 with vigor. <laughs> I don't know. Are you uh, beating it pretty reliably? Like, with effort? Yeah, don't do ascension, that doesn't matter. As of yet, or right now. So, okay, with health I'd probably want to go destruction van- or... Destruction and rape. Wait, no. Split, split exists. Split has to be on there, that's the whole point. Destruction and uh, vamp. And yeah, because like if I don't put raid on there, it's definitely gonna be worse than the other one. You can almost solo C3. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. Get to the point where you can struggle to finish a C4 first before you try to grind it, you know? One step at a time, man. One. 
construction and it's not doing a whole lot more damage. You can feel it. <laughs> And I, I actually really like that feeling about progressing. Like, it sucks losing and losing close, but then there's also that feeling like, oh, I'm so close, I know I can do this. I just need a little bit more, change the position just a bit. Being one step away. I know I can do the damage, but I can't do the wheel on A-Lord. Like, the wheel? What do you mean the wheel? Oh, did you like rebind your mouse too to the scroll wheel or something? Yeah, that's 65k. Unsurprisingly less. So does rate make that higher? Then bam. Like by a pretty large margin. That's how you feel, your best solo chaos is 34 mobs left on 5-5-C4. Five, five, You're almost there. You can taste it. You can taste victory. Alright, so... What I really want to know that is if I have a max drop of this. Because, like, this is only... This is, like, 16k under, but it's not doing anything crit. It could be pretty close. Like, I don't I don't ever expect this to do more than the crit. Just because crit. Yeah, because this doesn't have vamp, right? So this is the same shardage as the crit one. Rate seems like it's better than vamp. Fine. Stop. End thought. And so if I put this up to max, the crit one should technically do more, right? But... Like, the extra survivability, like, if it's not a lot more, I'd sooner go survivability, I think. I do not like having 6k uh, HP uh, defenses. Not at all. I should, I should do this sometime. I should find, like, a tower. Go... My full, like, 100 whatever points into defense health and see just how much, like, stats that gives it. They go 15. It's 150 stats. It's not a lot. Like. <sighs> so, what is this at? This is at 4200. I mean, that's quite a bit larger. Like, almost 30 times larger than what I could get from Ascension for Defense Health. Nah, that wouldn't be enough HP to make it worth it. Right? Am I, am I missing? I'm missing that, right? Yeah, no, it'd be 1500. Okay, never mind. So it'd be... Almost a third. That could be good. That did not hold up over time, though. I should max out this range. Range is so good, especially on something with low HP. Like, just being able to put it further back. It's so good. Like, this is at the point where I can put it behind walls, almost. It'll definitely be at the point where I can put it behind walls with full ascension. And honestly, like, I don't want to respec just for that goal. I will. Fuck it. Let's do it.
Oh, that's 100 points. I thought control was like place all. It's not place all. It's 100. I've got to click more than once. Oh god, look at that range though. It's so good. A little less damage. I don't have the uh, thing on there. It's not doing negative damage, right? Because of the ascension or the gambit. No. So I think my best setup is going this with. It's gotta be a split, so then just destruction and rate. Right? Like, is there anything else that makes sense on them that would be better? Yeah, I mean, that lost quite a. I mean, that lost like a little bit of DPS, it seems. It still hasn't evened out, but a decent bit. But the range again is probably worth it. For Ramses, do you think power speed crit chance is good? I heard Ramses weren't great with crit. But power speed and rate. Or power speed and range, I think, are probably really good. Range shard. Um Juice has been I, I haven't gotten the build from him, but he's been telling me that like going orb on them is the way to go. And I haven't heard the full like details of it. In fact, going orb on a lot of things might be the way to go. In ways I just haven't thought of yet. Do I have any good orbs? Not really. And what happens if I put an orb on this? I mean, it's not even close to being max. But it could be something interesting. Oh god, the damage is so much less, though. <laughs> but it procs really fast. I guess it's going really fast, if nothing else. It's so much less, though. To be fair, though, yeah, it is quite a bit of less stats, too. I just need more relic drops. I'm not... I'm not getting the medallion drops I want. I'm not getting many uh, relic drops at all, really, it feels like. That sucks. 11806, what are you rocking? That's why, it doesn't have speed on it. I want the speed for sharpened spikes. That makes sense. Health loss isn't that bad. Actually, yeah, yeah. So here, it's 30 points per. Do I want to go health and then put on like one piece of ability crit gear instead? Instead of ability health? Probably I'm not going to bother. Alright, let's go do another map though. I've been sitting around here for too long. Oh, did I not equip that when I tried it? No, I did, right? Yeah, with the uh, shards. So. Let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Chill night, play another map or two. If it's long, I'll probably only do one more. Which defense damage should you go? Do you mean like what defense? I'm gonna roll the map. Like what defense you should you do? Oh, what hero for C5? Um, 
Squire's not a bad option, I think. Big AoE stun, a long ranged AoE hit. More armor just because of the shield. But you're not going to be doing like huge deeps with them. Um, I mean, okay, never mind. Abyss Lord is the number one recommendation. Since he can just take out assassins on his own if you do it right. Pretty easily. Monk's good. I've been enjoying Huntress. Huntress is pretty good. She's got a huge... Like, she hits really hard with ability power uh, builds. If you've got... Stuff to get assassins off of you. Like that... If you can deal with assassins in other ways, then you're just your hero. I think she's actually a pretty decent uh, way of doing it. Um... I mean, I don't think there's anyone that's really bad at C5 other than maybe Dryad. And Dryad's, like, not necessarily bad, I just haven't heard of a way to do it yet. You go Abyss as DPS hero? Yeah, I think it's probably the best. So Abyss is really good as builder as well. Yeah, I think, I mean, Abyss is a pretty solid builder. Um, Ramses are good. I think Orc Walls are... Orc Walls are pretty good. They're alright. Um, people say they use Colossus. I haven't used Colossus at all this patch. And Archers, I think they need a bit. Like, you gotta get a little bit of range on them and build them the right way. But I think they're actually alright. Not top tier. But Ramsers are, Ramsers are like a solid defense. Like, you can use them in a, &A Chaos tier. Effectively. Use Orc Walls because I, I like the Orc Walls. Um, pretty fun. And there's some interesting things you can do with Orc Walls and uh, taking out both Assassins and Rollers with Direct Command and stuff like that. It's pretty fun. From what I've heard, I haven't done it myself yet. Which hero builder is like top notch? I mean, Huntress has poison dart towers, and you win maps. Um, I think uh, what's his face? Apprentice is a pretty solid one. Decent walls, frosty towers are a great crowd control, like a no-brainer build. Um, flamethrowers are good in every tier of chaos. Earthshatter is good. Um, you won't see as many people using it, but it's a really strong defense as well. Mystic, yeah, I think Mystic's a pretty good all-rounder as well. Mystic even a little more, because she can target air stuff. But... Yeah. The Sand Vipers aren't as strong as Flamethrowers, in my opinion. They're just strong in different areas. But I don't play with either enough to really make that call. I haven't really been using flamethrowers at all since uh, Geodes got removed from Chaos 5, so I'm definitely not an expert on them. Should you be using them together? Um, should you? No. It's not necessary, but if you can, yeah, I mean, they're both great. Pair them together, they're amazing. I don't like the Apprentice range on Flamethrowers. I mean, just throw health on them and try to, you know... Yeah, it's, it's, it's all about placement, and it is still risky on a lot of maps, even if you try the best placement just because of enemy AI. So it's fair that you want to kind of shy away from it a bit. But, like, they don't need crit, so... And you probably know this already. Going health and speed secondary on the medallion. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if there was, like, some other way to build them I wasn't aware of. Yo, Unicorn, what up, dude? Obelisk kills so... Oh, dude, Obelisk is... <laughs> Obelisk might be the most overpowered defense in the game. 
no exaggeration, like all of this might be the most overpowered defense in the game. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Fame players need range at all. But just the kind of places you need to put them, like you can go full gambit and range, and you would still run into the problems that flamethrowers have. Is kind of more what I mean. I didn't guess your shard yet. I'm not gonna play this game with you, dude. You can tell me what your shard is, or I'm just never gonna know. On my sand trap hero? Sure. Uh, here's my sand traps right there. Medallion with crit stuff, or a mark with crit stuff, basically. The speed, power, secondaries. Um, ideally, I'd have range on it. Just because it's ridiculous with it. But I just went for high crits. I didn't find... I found... That, like, the recharge speed... Didn't really affect them in the way that it looked like it should. And I'm still not 100% sure how it's working. It's so, like, speed primary you'd think as, like, a CC defense, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's as good as it should be, considering the numbers. I still need to figure that shit out a little more. Do I want to build it like this, though, where that's like hitting the gate and then shit might sit on the corner if I put cannibals up here? Probably? Oh, okay, no. I got a million miles of range on these. We're good. Uh, no, Split Viper Shard is fine. They don't ramp up their damage like a single Viper does, but I think they're, like, it's okay. Like, the shard itself. I mean, I've beaten every C5 map, I think, so far, using basically... Well, I think I did a high uh, Mystic build, right? There is a shard that increases attack rate. It's just called Defense Rate. It drops in Chaos 3. Someone also told me Range Shard is good on Sand Traps. Yeah, it's very good if you put Ascension in too. Yeah. Thank you, Daze. That's basically what I'm saying. Like, I think, like... <laughs> I was testing it. I was looking at the numbers we were counting. And, like... And this was weeks ago. But like the recharge wasn't like from the end of the effect to the start of like them popping again. It was something like with the animation in the middle. It was something weird, like it didn't really do much. Like I'd sooner go speed over health, just because you don't need more than fifty charges. Change your name. No, I don't know. Unless you're talking to days, but I know yours. You said Maybe days should. I don't know nearly enough about this game. Have that be my name, if that's what you're saying. Um, days, no one cares. Sorry. I'm gonna call him days all the time. Uh, For days, even. <laughs> you got frosty power? Nice. That's a man, that's that's a pretty good shirt. Congrats, now you can scum the whole game with just fishers. I mean you can do it before Frosty Power. Now you're laughing. You find very little on on your own about it. Yep, well same with me. I mean I'm a streamer, I'm not theory crafting, testing things all the time and playing the game. And I mean, I'm testing a lot, because I'm doing a variety of builds and stuff, that's kind of what I do. But like, a lot of my info is just 
taken from chat. Like, I learned with everyone else. So anything I know is basically just from other people telling me. You also say the song was Songwalk Hero. There's gonna be a time in the future where I'm not gonna be streaming anymore, and I'm gonna like get one of these songs in my head, and it's gonna be so very clearly associated with my streaming period. Or like, well, there's songs I hear that like I used to listen to, like maybe back when I played WoW a little bit, and if I hear that song, I was like, oh yeah, that's right, I listened to that a ton when I played WoW. That's not true, I only played WoW for like a few months in high school. What do you mean, no more daily DD2? Oh, you mean like in the future. I mean, I won't stream forever and ever. I doubt I'll be an 80 year old DD2 streamer. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, right, sand traps. That's right. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yo, actually, we have... We have some Juicy Nation people in here. What is, uh, what is Juice's Ramster build that he used in an orb? What is he set up on that? Is it just the standard stuff like... Destruction, Vamp, maybe Rate or something? With an orb? Because he said, like, I think he told me that orb was the best way to get DPS out of a Ramster, and I haven't checked it myself. Um, I have a Sky Guard in each lane, I have the bare minimum. Yo, JTK, thanks for the follow. Destruction, Raid, and Vamp. Okay. There's the pop-up. It's just with an orb? Okay. I would imagine that... It's not the end of the world to put in range in there. Oh, of course you want health. Well, you want DSDH orb. I mean, I'm sure you meant DPDH. <laughs> Wait, could you SS? Your Fisher Relic you use for best DPS on it. I don't know what you mean, but I can show you what my Fisher Relic is. I don't know what the best setup is for the best Fisher damage. But I can show you what I got. I'd sooner go Vamp though. Destruction, Vamp, and Range. Screenshot? Oh. No, but you can do a print screen right now. I think... Without thinking too hard about it, I'm guessing the best Fisher setup is to go Destruction, Range, and Vamp. Like a Vamp Shard, all things being equal, I think a Vamp Shard trumps a power chance for a crit strike. Just, you know, because crit is only ever going to be 38% of the time anyways. Might as well go vamp. But here's the thing, right? Like, I guess you get it from stats too, but... Crit's only ever going to happen 38% of the time, at best. Right? So I don't know. But then you're also getting crit stats and power transfer. There's a lot of things to consider. I still think, like... I think you want destruction. I think you want range. If you got destruction and range, I think a vamp shard is better than a crit strike shard in that case.
on what PSAT? Okay, so I missed the question, I think. One more question. I only have one more range charge. Should I put it into Frosty Flames or Sand Vipers? Uh, Skyguard? Well, what do you have your other range shards into? Because I think there's better things than all of those. Unless you're using like Frosty Duet, in which case that could be good. Flames, I don't think need it. Sand Vipers? I haven't played Sand Vipers of range yet. I think they get enough from their Ascension. But you could probably do some really interesting things with full Ascension, gam like full Gambit, and a range shard. Like, cross map uh, snake beams could be pretty interesting. Your first range shard. I would sooner go like a Sky Guard, dude. If you don't have like a rate set up already. It depends. It really depends on what you want to use. Rachel is going to get a nerf most likely? Maybe. There's a lot of things that need a nerf before that though in my opinion. Ramsters get 3 points per Gambit. You should probably not waste your Ascension levels. Unless they fix that. Here, let me check. Nope, they didn't fix it. Don't go Gambit into Ramsters. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the point though, Days. Like, if they take out Rate, I don't know if you could really justify ever using flame auras. Like I guess for weird combo setups, like if you just want to ignite like oily harpoons, but Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna do a cannonball in each lane. I'm gonna have it backwards facing. I don't know what else. Maybe a snake oil or something. Let's put this even further back. I can be safe. I got bigger range on these than I've ever had. Here. I think I can just put it over here. This one doesn't need to like backwards face, I don't think. Rain of oil. What's the scaling on that? I haven't looked at it recently. Yeah, I just I want to know what the freaking ignite scaling is on oil guys because from what I was potentially sealing, or oil guys are ignite scaling. Yeah, it seemed really bad. To be fair, I do only have like an 8k medallion on my oil geysers. But still, like it seemed really bad. Uh, I got 50 left. I don't. I don't need to spend 50. Yeah, I'm gonna do snake oil. Joseph, uh, you know, I'm just playing games, loving life. Merry Christmas. You get heal orbs. And this lane as well. Why not? Be spending most of my time between the two, I'm sure. Pocket Skyguards. Have I tried the uh, combined power setup, you mean? Like, um, Snake Coil will combine power and pair it with a Sand Viper? No. But I have like three snake coil builders and I think I have at least two combined powers. It could be interesting. It's like um I mean if you I don't know if the damage is like worth it though. What do I have on my um snake coils? Like what would I give up? I I, I can't remember what's the best scaling for these, I guess. 
How much does a combined power give you versus how much you can just get flat on the snake coil? I guess is the question I'm wondering right now. And if you can just get more damage out of the snake coil. Yeah. What does combined power do? I mean, Sand Vipers ramp up good. I think I got one fairly recently. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there we go. I think this is for the snake oil. I think both snake oil and sand viper receive... Okay, so basically four times whatever the defense power is. So it'd be like... What's that? 48? Basically like 50k? Maybe with, or not quite 50k, like 450k per, not 450k, um, 45k extra per hit. That's actually not bad. I mean, that seems good-ish. How does that work? <sighs> I meant to equip it so I could read it. each second, so like another 40k DPS. Is it, is it on the snake coil? Is it on the sand viper? Is it... I think it's on the snake coil. You could probably get it up to 50k with uh, good drops and stuff. Maybe. Like say you went... Well no, because I don't think shards affect other shards, right? Hmm. I don't know. Let's 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 be optimistic here. Round up. It'd be another 50k versus whatever DPS you can get without that. Say destruction. Now let's bring it out too, because I want to see this. So that's 18. I, I mean, I can already tell. Um, if I put a destruction on that, it's not going to be another 40k, right? So if you are using... Um, maybe it's on the Sand Viper? I don't, if it doesn't matter, then I'd rather go on the Serpent's Coil, I think. Because Sand Viper already, I think, needs a few things. Um, yeah, I mean, okay, so how about this? If you're using uh, Sand Vipers and Serpent's Coil, I think you might as well do it. You could go get rid of any like crit damage or destruction probably. It's just a flat 40-50k DPS increase. As far as I can tell, right? Am I doing that wrong? Because that seems really good. It was 385% of defense power. Basically four times. Yeah. I don't know what your um, sand vipers are doing, especially if you're not using split, because I always use split with them. But like you upgrade that a few times, plus another 40k it seems pretty good. The greatest thing about, um, and I guess you can have it on like your active hero too and move it around, but the greatest thing about the mystic builders right now, if you have multi-heroes, is that the only ascension for snake coils is in the offense tree. So you do all your building, your damage, your gambit, your crit is over here, or like your, say, sand viper. And then you can also just go full into uh, snake coil here, serpent coil. So every one of your builders that you don't need to be a DPS is now doing like really good snake oils as well. So then I wonder, um, speed doesn't matter. I think their attack rate's fixed. And I don't think, actually that's not true. Defense rate.
the, the Fence Rate Shard, I think, uh, does go over the cap for Snake Coil. The Snake Coil is at 1 second, but if you use a Defense Rate Shard, that puts it down to 0.75. That might be worth it. I don't know if that would affect Combined Power, though. I don't know if Combined Power says each second, but I wouldn't put it past um, how it's coded to make it so it applies to each tick rather than just doing the 40 or the 3-5% each second. Let me show you something. We tested this the other day. And I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we were just looking at this the other day. Yep, there you go. 0.75 attack rate. Rate doesn't work on fishers, uh, it seems. But I don't think there's an inspect to show it, but people using Raid on Fishers didn't change it. Defense Speed doesn't work on either. Raid doesn't work on Fishers. Raid does work on Snake Coil. So I should start doing Combined Power. I have at least two. I might have three. That's exactly what I said, Seven Shadows. Exactly what I said. Speed doesn't work on them. Rate doesn't work on them. Health? They don't have health, but you can put health on them and use vamp power. Uh... You typed it before I said it. Oh, you must have a bit of delay, dude. FYI, it seems like you might have a bit if you're only replying to that now. Or if you missed that part. Um, in that case, you might want to just do a pause and play of the stream to catch up. Or maybe it's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's move this back. Let's actually like get this map going. Because I just need to sell that. At this rate, because like I've gone all like ranty and shit. I am going to be making this my last map. I'm already longer than I intended to go. And I haven't even started my final map. Yeah, I know, 7. It's ten. It should be 10 seconds, though. Um, 10 to 15. Any more than that, then that's not on my end. Uh, with OBS and Twitch... I have it down to 10 seconds. Let's see how this cannonball does. But what I'm saying is, by the time you told so that speed fisher thing, it had been like probably a good 30 seconds since I had said it. And then you would like, and you had to type it out and stuff and all that, so yeah. A 7 second delay. 10, 10 was just an average. Like, I don't know if either OBS or Twitch say what it should specifically be. Ten is just like what I've noticed from experience, I think. Or maybe Twitch says. Mm. Actually, Twitch has like a um I think it was a while ago, it was like this beta thing where it's like, hey, we can try to reduce your delay a lot more, but it might not work. And I was like, yeah, fucking do it. But maybe it's less, or maybe the uh, delay is even less. How fast am I firing? Like on my uh, Huntress? Uh, four shots per second. And a burst three. <laughs> burst. Yeah, burst three with four projectiles in it. So burst 3 is 4 shots per second, that's how that works, right? Burst 1 is 1 shot per second, 2 is 2, and is that how that works? Fuck it, whatever. Burst, what number doesn't matter, it's a 4 shots per second with 4 projectiles per burst. And it really makes me want to go and charge primary build. But I do think ability power is better.
That's fast as fuck. You know it, man. And I can get this whole lane. Nice. I got an ogre. I want to do... I'm going to check to see how much I can do on the uh, number one ability, but... The ogre's a little too close to my defenses over there to make me want to do it. Oh. <laughs> I hit the flyer. I think I did. There's actually 177 on it. That wasn't you, was it? Maybe it was that critting? No, well, that might have just been a double stack of poison damage with a red number, because the game's good. CC locked, yo. Oh. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, you know what? Like, cannonballs are doing a bit less, but that extra crowd control is really making it. I'm so happy this works. And I don't even have the fucking max orb yet. Like. <sighs> Ooh. Oh baby, it'll be glorious. Ugh. Please. Uh, let's go over here, sure. Then I'll wander. Actually, let's go over here. So I don't have to wonder. I need to respec this uh mystic as well. I have points into like her number two ability duration, and I don't DPS with her at all. Yo, Cavanier, what's going on? What is heavy cannonball shard? It's like I think a 25% chance to shoot a heavy cannonball that rolls through 10 targets and stuns each of them for 4 seconds. I can't remember the damage scaling, it's... eh. No, damn it, Maltheus. I need to see the other guy. Yeah, that seems a little more than it was earlier. A little more there. Yeah. Absolutely. It's the stun. The damage is whatever. I kind of want to make a, uh... Well, I wonder, like, if you can find the perfect scenarios for cannonballs, like, super long range, would that be worth it? Probably not. They can get enough range from Gambit without going range shard, too. I don't think there's ever a map where you need both. Mm. There's some long lanes in some maps. You can probably do some fun things with, like, super long range stuns in the entire lane. And long straight lanes, that is. On, actually, if you're doing that, then you don't need the stun shard. <laughs> you can go raid right and range. Uh, and an ogre. Perfect. Alright. Mm. 
No. Uh, a little more than two mil, I think. Get that out of there. I should have dealt with that first. Get him. There we go. Oh. Get him. Ow. Will that hit it? It will. Ah, <laughs> uh, that wasn't necessary, but it felt good doing it. Get it to hit? No, they just don't want to work. Seems so weird that that doesn't work. Maybe you just need the perfect angle. But even if it needs the perfect angle... That's enough to make me not want to use it. The uh, number one ability on rollers. Alright, what do we got? We got an ogre, and we got Malthus, and Slickelion. Okay. Where's our Geode friend? Oh, that line. It's never that line. Skarnash. Uh, anything that needs special attention? Not really. Try a bit to the butts left? Okay. Uh, if I... I'm not gonna do that tonight, but I'll try to remember that. I'm gonna also just run off a ledge. <laughs> the butts left, okay. I see. I, I can see that, because it looks like it's firing kind of to the right. And that's more just because, like, the character doesn't stand, like, center to the crosshair. So maybe it's, like, a just a perspective thing on my end. So if I shift myself to the left, I should be able to hit the center better, I guess is what you're saying. The only LED to stream there is, right here. Come here for your MLG DD2 tips and tricks on how to progress through the chaos tiers and beat your friends. Now, get off me. Oh god, it's so good! Look at all these cannonballs! Are my oils doing? Um... Actually quite a bit at the center when they crit. Like, I think it was hitting for 1.7 if I crit on the center. Um... I can't remember... Without... Are you doing anything? That was 500, probably like halfway through. I don't think it might, it couldn't have been 1.7 mil though. I don't know. Um, I also don't have the damage uh, shard though, yet. And actually, I kind of want to farm for it. Do you guys know what uh, tier that shard drops in? 1.2? It might have been 1.2, yeah. Because 1.7 seemed high. Okay, let's 
Let's open that as well. It's heavy, unholy fire. I'll actually keep that. Wait, no. Got enough heavies. Yo. Oh, nice unicorn. So they're probably doing 1.2, and if they're doing 1.2, then <laughs> they'd probably do 1.7 with the shard, right? Chaos 1. Yeah, okay, I guess you guys know where I'm farming after this. Go to the tavern, though. I want to see how much it's doing. Um, I might be wrong. It looks like it's the closer to the center. It does more damage, though, on your oil flask, right? No, I tested that. I tested it on the dummies. Or it could have been, like, a first target takes more, second target takes reduced, third takes reduced. I don't think there's too much like that in this game. If at all. I don't know. Center field. That was... Why was that two damage numbers? Why is it hitting twice? Oh, that was 900 and 800. That was 1.7. 1.7, there you go. Why is it two damage numbers, though? And I am hitting that consistently, too. It's not on... Not even on crits. Unless... I'm so confused. How does this ability work? Oh my god, imagine if I had that shard though. Like, it looks like it's two numbers. And then sometimes they get coalesced. Am I just like guaranteed critting or something every time? I have no idea what's going on with that. Ah. Uh. Still, why can I hit 4 mil on the dummy? But that doesn't hit... I mean, I guess boss armor? I didn't think about it. All bosses have, like, boss armor now to a point, right? Like Malthus and Greblock and shit. Shirt Baron. Did they change the name? I, I don't I don't know what's going on here. Good job. Okay, and actually the uh, scaling seemed pretty good. I think the ignite damage from oil flask is like 92k per second or something. It seemed like it was taking once a second. 92k. It's not bad. That's like a little bonus, right? So, anyways, that's gonna be the end of my stream. Um, thanks for tuning in. The current plan is to stream again tomorrow at... Probably 3 p.m. EDT. No, that's trendy stream. 4 p.m. EDT uh, for DD2. But I have been getting really into Mass Effect and Andromeda. Like I streamed that game like seven hours today, so I don't want to promise anything. But I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try to stream after trendy stream tomorrow. So I don't know. Keep your eyes out for that. Anyways, until then, I'll catch you next time. Later. <laughs>